One of the companies you may not think of when you think of autonomous driving is Amazon, but they own one of the first companies that's gonna launch an autonomous rideshare service in the US. That is under the brand name Zoox. This is a custom made vehicle. It's a little bit what the cruise origin was supposed to look like before GM shut that program down. But Zoox is moving forward. They're gonna be launching in Las Vegas and they've even announced that they have a new production facility. They're gonna apparently be making these at scale. We haven't really known what the strategy is behind Zoox until now. I actually interviewed one of the co-founders of Zoox a few years ago, and it was interesting to hear that they were moving forward with the technology and with all their testing, but under Amazon, even then it wasn't really clear whether this was gonna be a delivery product, whether they were gonna do a ride-sharing service, or whether there was gonna be other plans under Amazon. But it looks like the Zoox vehicle is gonna be moving forward as a ride-sharing service, just like Waymo and just like Tesla has envisioned with its robo-taxi. So there are more players than you may think in autonomous driving today, and this is one to keep an eye on. So let's dig into what we know today. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. So let's look at what Zooks announced recently. This is from June 18th. And this is a first look at their production facility. This is not your typical auto plant where you have a huge assembly line. There's thousands of vehicles coming out, but it's a 220,000 square foot facility that's gonna be able to assemble more than 10,000 robo taxis per year. Interesting that they say assemble because they are gonna be getting most of these parts from other companies. They're just gonna be putting them together. That's what a lot of manufacturing plants do, but it doesn't look like they have stamping operations and things like that that you may find in a typical Detroit or US manufacturing plant for automobiles. Now I do think it's interesting that this is located in California, so near their Foster City headquarters. This is not gonna be a very low cost place to operate a manufacturing facility, but obviously it's more valuable for them to be close to that manufacturing than it is to go find the lowest costs that are available. They are also going to be using more robotics than you may see in a traditional auto plant today. So where are these vehicles gonna end up and what is this service gonna look like? The first place that they're gonna be operating is actually in Las Vegas. And if you are not familiar with the Zooks vehicle, it's basically like a miniature bus. Four people will fit inside of it, but it does not have a steering wheel. It has these big sensors on the outside, so LiDAR that you can see in the four corners, and the doors open to the side as well. So easy to access, but they are also looking to expand into some of the cities that we see for other robo taxi companies, San Francisco, Austin, and Miami. You may recognize all of these names as places that Waymo either operates or is looking to operate in the future. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Now, interestingly enough, Amazon is not the only company launching new autonomous vehicles and a new ride sharing service in the US. Moya, which is actually a subsidiary of Volkswagen, is gonna be offering a new turnkey solution that they call it for mobility. This is going to be something they will be able to offer to other OEMs. But the first vehicle is gonna be the Volkswagen ID Buzz AD. This is very similar to what we've seen being tested in Austin today. This is powered by Mobileye. So it's basically Mobileye software underneath Mobileye's chips and then there are other sensors that go into it. Actually, dozens of sensors here. You can see 13 cameras, nine LiDAR, and five radar. So that's actually more sensors than you would see on a traditional autonomous vehicle today. But they're not taking any chances. I think the vision, especially for companies that are working with Mobileye, is let's start with more sensors and then take sensors off as we prove out safety. So they've proven out that safety. They've been testing the system in Austin and in Germany. That this is going to be rolling out. One of the places they're talking about is Los Angeles. Lyft has said that they're going to be launching some vehicles. Look for some announcements with them and Mobileye, potentially as Vol with Volkswagen as the actual auto manufacturer. That should be announced later this year. And this is a little bit different than what we see from Zooks. But the ID Buzz, if you have been in one of these, is a very big roomy vehicle perfect for ride sharing. Even if you're riding in it yourself, but you can see with some of these images, there's gonna be places to put luggage and there's plenty of room for at least four passengers, if not more, depending on how they do the seating. So when you look at these announcements and you add in the fact that May, Mo May Mobility is gonna be launching with Lyft later this year in Georgia, 
Waymo is expanding all around the country, even going internationally this year. What does the future of autonomous driving look like? It certainly looks like more and more players are going to be getting permits and are going to be driving fully autonomous vehicles on the road. We're going to be able to call those. What's the business model look like? And where is there investing opportunities? I continue to think that one of the investing opportunities that's hiding in plain sight is just simply the ride sharing apps. Uber and Lyft are two of the stocks that I own because I think as autonomous vehicles proliferate, we're gonna see dozens of operators and it's gonna basically commoditize supply for rides. But the supply of rides, when a vehicle can basically operate 24 seven, is gonna actually increase. That's gonna increase the availability of supply on those apps, potentially driving prices down and increasing the total addressable market. An Uber or Lyft ride today is about $2.50 per mile. Imagine if that number goes down to a dollar per mile. It may make sense at that point to get rid of a second or third car. Depending on where you live, it may make sense to get rid of a car altogether. It'll make it more cost effective to do autonomous deliveries. There's a lot of innovation that will happen on those platforms, but it's not necessarily the auto manufacturers themselves that are going to be doing that innovating or building their own apps. I don't think it ultimately makes sense for Zooks to have an app and for Waymo and for Tesla and for Uber and for Lyft. That's not the way that these markets typically play out. Typically, one of these companies is going to win. There's going to be a second place player and then everyone else is going to fall by the wayside. So I think these technology and auto manufacturing companies are going to end up being suppliers to the aggregators who are Lyft and Uber. The other business I'm looking at, I mentioned earlier, is Mobileye. Mobileye is providing the technology. That technology isn't just going to go into those Moya vehicles or into those Volkswagen vehicles. That's going to be able to be sold to dozens of automakers all around the world, just like they sell chips and sensors to millions of vehicles that are being produced every single year. They're just going to move up that value chain to, to provide more sensors, better chips, and better software to provide that autonomy so that not every company has to develop it themselves. I think the business models are playing out in a pretty clear way. And automakers is not necessarily the best way to make money on autonomous vehicles. It's actually the modular component suppliers and the aggregators in ride sharing. And now entering that business and complicating things even further is Amazon with Zooks. Where do they go with that business? My prediction for 2025 is Zooks actually partners with Lyft. I think they bring Zooks vehicles to the Lyft platform and those two become big partners in the future. But we'll see how this plays out. A lot of opportunity in autonomous vehicles, but look at those three stocks if you're interested in how I think we can really profit from those, Lyft, Uber, and Mobileye. Let me know what you think of those in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.